what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is my pixel 9 pro a device i was really excited about getting uh at launch and i was able to grab one surprisingly enough i was able to walk right in the store and get one uh, but i'm happy about this um device because it brings another uh, element to google that you know a lot of people are probably just have been waiting for for years so let me change the icons back real quick a lot of people have probably been waiting on this phone for years. I know I have uh, someone that uses pro devices, these smaller variants. I really, really, really think this is a win for Google. And after using this for about 12 days or so, let's just call it two weeks. This, I'm going on two weeks with this because th this phone is that good. A week and a half, two, 10 days, whatever. I think the phone is really good and I'm surprised at the battery life. <clears throat> the battery life on this thing has proven to me to be extraordinary in comparison to the XL version. And I still have my XL version. I was really thinking about selling this XL version because I'm using it, but you know, I'm still working on getting that battery right. It's going to get there, I'm sure. Uh, but I think that, that Google has definitely done something with this particular version to where this battery life is just sick. Like on every, look at the, you know, almost five hours, 48% left. You can really get some phenomenal battery out of here. And I won't get another five hours out of this thing. I'll get two and a half to three hours tops. Um, but I'm, I'm surprised at how well this phone is performing in battery life. And let's just double check here. Make sure I didn't, the resolution isn't turned back, you know, because I, I typically set the resolution to the highest. Uh, so let's just check it out. Let's just be sure, make sure I'm on full resolution. Okay, so I'm on full resolution. Um, I, I, I genuinely believe that Google has done something with this particular model to where it, it's just that good. Like folks, this, this is a good implementation of what a phone should be. It's that good. So if you're in the market for an Android phone and you're particularly you're looking at some of these Google phones, this one is a win, man. It's it's um it's proven to me that it's worthy of the Pixel name alone, just for the hardware alone. I haven't gotten to the hardware yet, but the hardware alone is is really is is, is a nice touch. Uh, but the software is what's really important here. How does this phone work? Is it is it doing well? Is it is it worth the money? All these conversations are going to continue to go about. But in reality, most of us have not even touched the surface of if a phone is worth it per se, because we're only using it in certain sections, in certain areas. And the most of our use is just going to be social media or recording, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, when I say haven't really touched the surface, the tensorship gets a lot of heat. And I didn't mean that in a, <laughs> no pun intended, but I still see people today saying that this phone is laggy uh, and, you know, it's just garbage. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I get it. But the majority of people who have this phone have not experienced any lag per se. Yeah, you know, they don't think it's a bad phone at all. It performs well enough for them to get their tasks done it's just a, it's a win. It's it's something that is moving. People are getting the most out of it for their daily lives and what they're using it for. So I can appreciate this phone for the phenomenal battery upgrade and performance. I mean, the Tensor chip, if the Tensor chip isn't doing anything else for you, you will love this battery life. You will love this battery life and you will not be disappointed with this battery life. So speaking of the Tensor chip, I've heard the conversation about it being laggy, about it uh, heating up, crashing. I'm not ex I'm not going to take away from other people and say they're not experiencing it. I'm just going to say the majority rules on this one. There is not a lot of people out there saying, oh, my God, the phone is lagging. And the numbers of more positive outweigh the bad on this one, the negative, because there's always going to be an issue with a new device more than likely sometimes. But in this particular situation, this phone has not lagged out on me at all. Like, I mean, I mean, when I say, I mean like daily usage, like I'm trying to do something and it's not, it's not messing up for me. It's not crashing. I'm using it for video recording, just a boatload of things, a plethora of things I could think of. This phone show improves. It does very, very well. 
So I'm curious to see how it's going to stack up against the iPhone 13, excuse me, the iPhone 16 Pro. The 16 Pro now is the same size and, you know, it's pretty much going to be hopefully about the same footprint. And we're going to see how this thing measures up against it because one thing they've improved is their video. The HDR video on, on this phone is absolutely great. Uh, and I keep it on HDR now uh, because I'm, I appreciate Google's content uh, that's coming out of their phones now with HDR. It's, it's impressive. And the only thing I could possibly gripe about is sometimes in the lighting situations, the HDR doesn't show the way I want it to show, but overall HDR in the right lighting settings for pretty much any phone, even the, even my Apple iPhones, you know, I like the, I think they still have the best HDR. I think Samsung is the worst HDR. Uh, and second to Apple is, is the Google Pixel 9 lineup for HDR content. HDR content, folks, is great when you want to post a short on social media uh, like Instagram or Twitter. You want to make sure before you post on those sites, though, that you have the settings turned up on the application. It's like go into the Twitter app and make sure it's set to show you the highest content. Instagram, make sure it's set to show you HDR content because sometimes it is not. and You're not getting the same effects as everybody else. Uh, you know, when you're posting. So that is where the iPhone kind of shot outshine everybody when it came to posting on social media. I've even said it, social media on iPhones just appears to be better. But in reality, you needed the right piece of hardware, software, get the settings right in the application. And now we have that from Google. Uh, I mean, Google's uh, HDR from previous generation, the eight lineup, it was pretty good too. Uh, but this phone right here, definitely gives me strong impressions of a winner, especially, if, you know, I get excited for the next version of it to see, can they really capitalize on this as far as the software goes? Um, can they really improve it? Now they've done a good job on these cameras too, by the way, by bringing us a small pro version because I get everything that my larger version gets. I get, I literally get the same thing. This is the XL and this is the regular pro and I get the same thing. I get the same type of quality and it's just a win. I use these phones for social media. Now, my, in my personal life, I use a phone for a phone. Like I, I do a lot of phone calls. I pop my Bluetooth in and it's on. A little egg. Yeah, I see you. Um, I pop my Bluetooth on and it's on. We, we can chat for hours. I'll switch buds one at a time, wear them down, put it back in the case, keep going. However long I need to be on the phone with the fam or whatever I'm doing. So, but when I do get into some kind of social media stuff, I'm definitely, definitely um, going to be intrigued by if, if the device is got good cameras, the software is smooth, the, the battery is solid, the screen is beautiful and the hardware is decent. What more do I need as a user? Support. That's what I need. Now, thank goodness. I've never had to have any, I've never had any of my pixels fail or not anything like that to where I had to contact support or anything like that. So as a regular person, it's just phone calls and, you know, a little bit of social media, but when the tech side of me kicks in, it's all social media and cameras are in full effect. I mean, I'm recording content, taking photos and things like that. Let me speak of photos. Let me show you a photo that I took while I was driving. And this is just a beautiful photo. Look at this. Tell me that is not beautiful. Man, they have done a phenomenal job with these cameras. Cannot fail us. Google, Google has done such a phenomenal job on their cameras. You should be, you should have HDR turned on and you should be recording things and posting with a pixel. If you haven't ever done so before iPhone users love their iPhones for posting on social media, but Google is right there now. I got to give credit where credit is due. So we'll see how this stacks up against the new iPhone 16 Pro that I have. And uh, I'll, I'll come back and just be honest with you about it because the iPhones catch a lot of heat and these phones are said that, you know, they're just not good, but we shall see about that. The Pixel 9 Pro in nine minutes. Let's do it again. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Are you enjoying your Pixel 9 Pro? Yeah. What color did you get? I'll see you in the comments.